Built in the 1920s, this magnificent Florida palace is a Palm Beach historic landmark. So when its current owner, media powerhouse Bud Paxson of Pax TV fame, wanted to upgrade the estate with high-tech gems, he called an expert. Jeff, you and your team have designed and installed all the electrical home networking kind of system in this house. Yes, ma'am. Um, can you tell us about that and how this panel figures itself into it? Sure. It, it is a very, it's a completely integrated uh, low voltage system that controls the lighting and the, the HVAC or the air conditioning, as well as the audio video distribution throughout the home. And this particular keypad outside the dining room is set up so that the very elaborate theater system we'll see in a little bit gets a complete warm up. You just walk out of here, touch that bar, and it prepares everything below so that you don't have to worry about it when you get down there. We're in this lovely paneled uh, library now, and I'm wondering how do you involve the or integrate the high technology into this room? Well, in a room like this, as pretty as this room is, the last thing you want to see is really something that's truly high technology. So in this particular room, what we did is we hid the keypad in a cabinet so that it was easily accessible, but really completely out of the view of the normal room. Well, the next room over, which is the solarium, has a demonstration not of just the music distribution, but we've got a TV hidden in the wall there that you can access any of the satellite sources from as well. Well, Jeff, now we're down in this beautiful velvet-lined home theater room. Looks like it seats about 10 to 15 people. Can you tell us about the thoughts and the concepts that went in behind the scenes to designing this room? Sure. This room took a lot more effort than many that we've done because the, the, the facility was used just as storage and actually started out with a, a sand floor that wasn't even a hard floor. Um, this particular client is in the media business and wanted something really high-end and really state-of-the-art and in this type of home wanted something that was very fun. So as you can see, this is a complete complex. I mean, you come down past a ticket booth area into, you know, a, a like a smoking room, you know, where you can have champagne, down a nice lit, you know, hallway with many nice movie type photos, into a really neat concession area, and then you turn up and come in the theater. So it's, it was built for the whole experience of having the fun of a home theater. The theme behind the room, as you can see, is the Four Seasons, and this is really beautiful wallpaper that was done to recreate the sculptures. As you look at the front of the room, you'll see that we have a you know, complete drape system that is opened with a major controller with a touch of a single button. Part of the thing that was very difficult in this room is that we had to work very closely with Theo Kalamarakis, who is the architect who designed the room, to make the entire screen assembly removable to access the large storage area that's behind it. Well, in the equipment rack at the top, we start out with a power conditioning system that's also an uninterruptible power supply. So if you have any brownouts or blackouts, you don't lose power to these equipment, which is basically like a lot of computers. We have a line quadrupler, which enhances the video to its highest level. We have the processor, which is the main control unit for the entire room. This client has a very, very large laser disc collection, so you have a very high quality laser disc player, followed by the best consumer S-video machine that you could get for watching movies on VHS, and a very nice DVD player to complement the VHS. VHS machine. Below that we have a CD player so that when you hit your warm-up and you come down from dinner you have some nice music in the background to, as an ambience before you start the room. And then a secondary system that begins to run the system in, in outside in the hallway in the restroom in the concession stand so that you can follow the movie when you get up. Followed by a number of amplifiers that are here to drive the base engines and some of the subwoofers that are located in the room. Jeff, thank you so much for the tour of this beautiful house. We've really enjoyed it. Oh, thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs>